but and I'm kind of bastardizing one of my questions, and this will be my last question, so I hope y'all have some too. Let's imagine a world where there wasn't a To Kill a Mockingbird. We wouldn't be well, saying that. Well, I mean, how, how, would, how do you think this it would, would be different? This would still be Lurleen B. Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> we say junior college. <laughs> For one thing. And would we still be talking about the lack of these kinds of books that, that, don't, tell, that don't tell the real civil rights story? Or, no. I mean, do no. we blame that Somebody on the else would have written it. It would have emerged in some other way. Yeah. It's the collective consciousness. It would have merged yeah. up somewhere else, I think. Maybe not the same way. Maybe not as successful. But there are, there are other books that are not about the civil rights movement that owe something to To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, not, books about how we treat people who are different. Right. I don't care how they're different, but how we react to and treat people who are different. And there's a lot of literature in that, and I think some of the, of the undercurrent of To Kill a Mockingbird um, possibly influences. Some also, in a literary way, she sort of invented or refined that wise child narrator mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Twain first did it best in Huck Finn, where it's both the adult and the child in the same voice. But she did it, I mean, incomparably. So, like, every book Stephen King has ever written since then is influenced by that scout. I mean, Stand By Me is like To Kill a Mockingbird as a horror story, right? It's just the same, you know, the same sweetness of the expression of the town, the sort of pang of nostalgia in every sentence of the book. You know, it makes, it leavens the mix. It's not just a civil rights story. It's really scout story and it's booze. Boo Radley's story. We haven't even mentioned Boo. Uh, well, the he's always, he's the always hiding. The he's always hiding in the back. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he's the recessive gene.